Hi, everybody. Happy holidays, friends. Hi, how are you guys doing out there? Oh my goodness. Hi to all of my YouTube family. Hi, Bridget, Maria, Gloria, Mary. Jennifer's here. Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. Are you staying warm? Is it cold where you are? Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> it's so cold here. It is so cold here. I'm not mad about it. I'm just saying. You guys know how I feel about the cold weather, right? I mean, you guys know I absolutely love it. But the temperature dropped in the middle of the night last night. It was raining. <laughs> it, it isn't. It stopped raining. The temperature dropped off, and it started like snow ice. It's not necessarily um, a good kind of snow, but we did get a little bit of snow. But y'all, temperature here is four degrees. Four. I told you it was coming. I told you it was coming. That cold weather, but it's not great if you have to go out in it. Like, I wish that I could just stay home and like watch Hallmark movies and pop some popcorn, but I actually have to go out into the world in the four degree temperatures <laughs> and get some last minute things. So um, I hope wherever you are, you're staying warm because it was cold. It was really cold. And if you got really snow, if you got better snow than I got, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little jealous a little jealous merry christmas all y'all all y'all happy holidays to everybody it's so good to see you guys so listen it's the last feel good friday of 2022 because i'm taking off all of next week so you will not see me next week which means there won't be a feel good friday next week but i will be back the week directly after that. So our next Feel Good Friday show will happen in 2023. So uh, let's make this one a good one, right? Let's go out with the bang because I got some really pretty things. And I got to tell you, y'all are already shopping. <laughs> some of you are just waiting for me to hit the hit the button in my Etsy shop. And I'm not joking. As soon as I hit that button, some of y'all bought up some things. And let me tell you what you have found. So yesterday, after I got finished with the Beetle on Live, <clears throat> I finished up a few things. Then I went back through all of the kits that I have, right? And I found stragglers, meaning there were ones and twos of things that had previously sold out that I don't know if they were this simple or what the deal was, but for whatever reason, there were ones and twos of a couple of things. And when I found them, I relisted them. Some of you saw them yesterday and grabbed them. Some of you saw them this morning and grabbed them. There are only a couple of things left. So if you, if there was a kit that maybe you missed out on, it's possible that it got relisted and there might be one left. So you definitely want to check out the shop, even if there's nothing in today's show that interests you. Um, something else is that today through Monday, all maker mixes are 30% off. Just trying to get rid of those so that I've got room for, um, new maker mixes in 2023. So while you're shopping, if you want to grab a maker mix, those are 30% off. That's a pretty good deal on maker mixes. I'm just saying, cause that makes them like uber cheap, uber cheap, <laughs> uber affordable. We don't like the word cheap, do we? We'll use the word affordable. So, all right. I don't have a maker mix today because all of the maker mixes are on sale. So I'm just going to get right to it. We've got six designs for today. I've got three, let's see, one, two, three pairs of earrings, a necklace and two bracelets. And they are all easy, easy peasy. These are all about the beads. Okay. So these designs are all about the beautiful beads that they are created with. So I'm going to start out with a bracelet that is going to be gone immediately i just know that it will be and then i'm gonna move on to some other things but um no maker mix today okay so i'm gonna turn y'all around and we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so the first bracelet that we have up for today is a labradorite bracelet and every time i have labradorite in the shop it sells out like immediately why I say I wanted to do this at the top of the show because I know for sure this is going to be gone. So this is just a really beautiful little simple bracelet that we're going to make a beaded chain with. There are some glass pearls, some check glass fi fire polish, some labradorite facets, a labradorite um, faceted connector. So pretty. It's that beautiful. Look at that flash. So, so pretty. And then 
little decorative clasp to go with it. So this is a super easy pumpkin squeezy one we're gonna put together really, really quickly. Some of this I've already done. We're just gonna use eye pins and make simple loops here. So there is nothing super hard, um, but I do know that this bracelet will get gone. So if you want one, you better grab one now because I only had a few of these. So just so you are aware. All right, so this side of the bracelet is already completed. Okay, so you can see it's the two Labradorite facets, um, a glass pearl with some fire polish, and then a few more glass pearls. So we're gonna finish that off. We're going to do the same thing over here. There's three of those are already created. So we're going to do these three little sections. So we're going to take an eye pin. We're going to thread on a metal spacer and then two beautiful Labradorite faceted beads. They're so pretty. They really are pretty. And then a metal bead. And we're just going to do a simple loop. Okay. So I'm going to grab the wire right where it is exiting that metal bead and give it a bend. I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and trim off. I'm going to leave myself about a fourth of an inch. And then I'm going to use my round nose pliers to grab that wire and roll back to close up our loop. So there's one. That loop didn't get closed very well. Okay. Now, another one. The next one is going to have fire polish. So we're going to grab the check glass round a glass pearl and a check glass round. We're going to do another simple loop. Okay. Grabbing that wire, give it a bend, cut off, leaving ourselves about a fourth of an inch of wire. And then using our round nose pliers and roll back. A lot of people are having some trouble with Facebook today. It's got to be the weather. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm not having any problems here, but I do see that some of you all are having some connectivity issues. All right, so I'm going to thread on a glass pearl. It's not my internet, Colleen. No, blame it on me. <laughs> I think it's a Facebook issue because I'm definitely not having any, I'm not having any problems here, y'all. Usually I'm the one, if it's usually it's my end, I'm the one who goes out. Like I'll freeze up, but I haven't frozen up so far. And all of the comments are going by at normal speed. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. All right. So simple loop on that. Okay. So, so some of you on YouTube are having some problems too. I don't know. Maybe it is me. I have no idea. All right. So I'm going to put this together. Okay. Cause like at this point we're ready to go. There are, there's no other hardware for this. So I'm going to open up one of our simple loops here and you treat these simple loops just like you would a jump ring so you just twist to open we're going to thread on the one that is just the pearl and then we're going to twist to close that back we're going to move up open we're going to thread on the one that has the fire polish check glass rounds close that one back we're going to move up open up the next one with a twist, we're going to thread on the Labradorite. <laughs> Colleen's like, it's Sarah's fault. Sarah did it. No. <laughs> All right. So there's the <laughs> Labradorite. And then we're going to open that one up and we're going to thread on one of the ends of our Labradorite connector. Close that back. And then we're going to do the same thing over here on the other side open thread that on that's the center of our bracelet and then the only thing left to do is just to add our clasp and our clasp is one of those that you just squeeze it and slide it in it looks like a bead it's really beautiful so i'm going to open up one of the loops colleen's causing trouble nicole put her name i'm just kidding <laughs> Put her name on the clipboard. Colleen, see me after class. <laughs> mm. All right, open and then the other side of, cla of the clasp and that's it, y'all. That's it. You've got a beautiful bracelet. Now, listen, I made this one on the small side. There's an extra pearl or two extra pearls and two extra eye pins in your kit so that you can make this as big as you want it to be. However, um, if you 
if you, Colleen, don't get mad. Oh my gosh. I'm just playing. <laughs> if you, if you want to make this a little bit bigger then add some jump rings. Okay. And you can just add the jump rings here on either side. Teresa, thank you so, so much. <laughs> All right. So there's our bracelet, our first bracelet of the show. And I'm going to move this over to the side. All right, we're going to move on. I've got another really pretty bracelet here. Y'all, this one's got a tiara cash charm in it. There is a beautiful coin, freshwater pearl. This one is so, so pretty. Look at these beautiful turbine check glass. And they've got that, that same AB flash that these check glass rounds have. They're so pretty. All right, so we're going to put this in, this one together. This is just a simple stringing project. You're, you'll see how I put this one together. However, you can put this one together however you want to, okay? <clears throat> All right, so to get us started, we're going to do um, just some crimping, just like always, not anything uh, crazy here. Okay, so we're going to thread on our crimp. Okay, and then I'm going to thread on our wire guardian. Take the wire back down through the wire guardian and then back down through the crimp. Okay. Make sure your wires are not crossing inside there. And then you're going to grab your crimper tool. You're going to place that into the back notch of your crimper tool and you're going to give it a squeeze. And then you're going to turn it sideways, put it into the front notch and give it a squeeze. Okay. You're going to come in with your cutter tool and you're going to trim off. You don't need any of that excess. And now we're just going to do some stringing here. And I'm going to show you how I put this one together. However, you can put this together however you want to. Okay. Don't feel like you have to put it together the exact same way that I do. Okay. So we're going to thread on a metal bead and we're going to thread on four of the check glass rounds. I love these. They're so pretty. Okay. Then we're going to thread on another metal bead and we're going to thread on all of these beautiful check glass turbines. Okay. And we're going to alternate. So we're going to put one on, and then we're going to put a metal bead. We're going to put another one on and a metal bead. And you're going to do that until you've got all of those. Everybody's got weather issues. I'm telling you all, that's what's going on with the, with the connectivity. It's, I think it's a combination of everybody, everybody, the weather everywhere. The wind, I don't know, the wind was really bad here last night. It sounded like we were having a blizzard. It was crazy. I know Colleen had a branch come down right outside her front door. We had crazy winds here. It's died down today, but it's still cold, that's for sure. All right, so I've thread on all of the turbine beads. Okay, now I'm going to thread on four more of our check glass rounds. I'm going to do metal bead. And then I'm going to do our freshwater pearl. Now, again, you can put this wherever you want to. If you want to put this in the middle and stand, instead, you absolutely can. Okay. All right, and then a metal bead, and we're going to crimp, okay? So what's left after this is our beautiful toggle, and then we have this awesome Tiara Cash charm to put on as well, because you know I love the dangles, and I love Tiara Cast. So, all right, I'm going to thread on my crimp, and then my wire guardian. Take the wire back down through the wire, back through our crimp, and pull. 
when you pull that down then you're going to bring in your crimper tool place that into the back notch give it a squeeze turn it sideways put it into the front notch and give it a squeeze and you're going to trim off all right so now the only thing left is that not pretty it's so beautiful i love it because it's just sparkly enough to be you know shimmery and fun but it's not so sparkly that you can't get away with wearing this one every single day you know this is definitely a piece that you can wear whenever you want so we're going to add our our toggle to this so i'm just going to open up a jump ring i'm going to thread on our toggle bar on one end and then over here on the other end i'm going to thread on our toggle ring and our charm so i'm going to thread that on going to thread our charm on and then our toggle ring and close that back you've got such a pretty little bracelet like I said everything in today's show is super easy but it's all about the beautiful beads that one is definitely about these beautiful beads so pretty all right so i'm going to move on to our necklace for the show and then we've got three pairs of earrings okay so let's put together a necklace real quick and this one is also just like i said easy peasy but all about these awesome beads so we're going to put together a necklace that the clasp is basically just a large whole bead i'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second but we're going to do the stringing first we've got some beautiful check glass um, um, rondelles in two different shapes of rondelle and then we also have these reconstituted gemstone beads these came from sand they're like denim blue they're so cool we use these in other projects we're going to use those as the star of our necklace and then we're going to use some faux lace for the length of this one okay so we're going to start out just the exact same way that we've been starting we're going to do a crimp we're gonna do a wire guardian take the wire up and then down through our wire guardian now before we go through that crimp though we're gonna attach this directly to one of our rings so let me get that started here. so before I go through that crimp right I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna hook right into our wire and then going to take that through our crimp it's 80 degrees in Southern California now I know a lot of people are jealous about that right now <laughs> oh my gosh I told this up y'all it's be string wire slippery right, let's do this again it's funny I was watching thank you thank you so much Gabrielle I was watching the go by and trying to the bead stringing wire slipped right out of my hands. Here, let's try it again. <laughs> Time I won't have the butterfingers. I probably will. Will. All right. So now I place that into our crimper tool. Give that a good squeeze. I'm going to turn it sideways, give it a squeeze, and then we're going to come in with our cutter. Okay, all right, now we're going to thread on three of our larger check glass rondelles. I got these beautiful rondelles from Danielle Wicks. And these beautiful beads from Sam. All right, so we've got three of those. Now we're gonna thread on one of our ovals and we're gonna alternate with our little metallic bells, an oval. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Rondell, oval. Thank you, Gabrielle. You guys are so sweet. I, I could not do what I do if it weren't for you all. That's for sure. OK, 
Okay, and this is this is our pattern. So we're going to use up all of our beautiful ovals here. You guys, if you will stick around to the end, I'm also going to announce the winner of our Maker Mix uh, for, it's actually for October and November combined because we didn't have a whole lot of entries in either month, so we combined the two of those. I will be telling you who won that when we get through with all of our kits today, so you might want to stick around for that. All right, so there's all of our beautiful ovals and we're going to finish this off with three more of these check rondelles and then we're going to crimp and we're going to crimp it directly to our last ring here okay so crimp on thank you jennifer so sweet back down through our wire guardian, but now I'm going to hook that right to the ring and then through the crimp and pull that down. Okay. And then we're going to crimp. So back notch, give it a squeeze, turn it sideways, put it in the front notch and give it a squeeze. Okay. And then trim off that excess because you don't need it. All right. Now, the, le the rest of this necklace, which I know is kind of hard to see here at the moment. Let me turn it this direction so you can kind of see all of the beautiful beads here. This is such a pretty necklace. So the rest of this is some of this beautiful faux suede lace. And you've got two pieces. You can trim these up to make this a long necklace or a short necklace. You're going to bring the two, the two ends together. Okay, and you're going to fold that in half and then you're going to do a lark's head knot. So you're going to take that where you folded it in half. You're going to stick it through the loop. Okay, and then you're going to take your two ends and pull those through the loop. That's going to create our knot. Now, I would take a little bit of glue and put right on the back of this just so that it doesn't come undone. Okay. And let that set up. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm taking my two ends together, folding it in half, loop through the decorative ring, and then you just pull your ends through and pull. And you've got yourself another lark's head knot. Okay. Now, another drop of glue on the back of this. If you want to tie an overhanded knot here too, just for extra security, you can. Uh, I don't know that you necessarily need it if you add a little bit of glue. But now for the, the hardware of this, this is a little bit different than anything that we've done before. This one is super easy to do. Um, and I definitely encourage you, if you if you are making jewelry of your own and you want to use some leather, this is a cool, like, easy, easy little technique to finish. So we're going to take all four strands of our suede lace and we're going to thread those through a large hole bead. Just like that. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to make our necklace adjustable so that we can kind of slide it open and slide it closed to adjust the length. But what you're going to want to do here to make sure that your ends don't slip through is you want to take each one of your ends and you want to tie an overhanded knot right in the end. And that overhanded knot is going to keep your leather cords from sliding through your large hole bead. So if you put a knot on the end of each one of these, right, then your clasp or your bead for your clasp is never going to come off and you have a fully adjustable necklace. It's really cool and it's really easy. I really, really like this technique. We, I don't think we've done it before. If we have, we've done it a long, long time ago, but it's just a cool way to use some of your large hole beads if you've got them. I really like this one. I got this one from Danielle. So everybody that gets this kit has these in their kit, um, but it's just a cool little way to finish off if you don't have cord ends and you don't want to tie, you know, a 
big barrel knot or a sliding knot because you've got four strands here this is a cool way to take care of it so there you go you've got a really pretty necklace that you can make it really long you can make it really short it's totally up to you you just want to be sure that you do tie the knots on the ends i don't want to do that to the ends of all of these because this is going to be somebody's kit but that is definitely the way to finish this one off right and so shaquita says you can I probably butchered your name. I'm so sorry. Sequitia <laughs> says, or add beads at the ends for dangles in the back. Girl, you know, I love dangles. She's speaking to my heart right now. <laughs> she knows I love the dangles. So yeah, you definitely can add beads to each one of these and then tie a knot and you've got some really cool things on the back too. But yes, yes, yes. Love this necklace. I hope you guys love this one too. I think it was really, really pretty. Kind of boho. You can layer this one up with some others. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put this one over to the side. Now, we've got three pairs of earrings to finish off the day, okay? And all the earrings are pretty easy. And, okay, good. I'm so <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna put together three pairs of earrings. I'm gonna do a simple pair, then a wire wrapping pair, and then a simple pair to uh, close out the show today. But this is again all about these gorgeous beads. So check these out. These are impression jasper beads that I got from Sam. These beautiful rondelles. There are some fire polished A B clear check rounds to go with these. So so pretty. It's all about the beads, y'all all about the beads, just stacking them up and making them pretty. So we're going to put this together really quickly. If you hear something slamming at the moment, it is a cat trying to get in here desperately into this room. <laughs> She's like, I can't believe you're doing a show without me. I need to sit on your bead mat. That's too funny. All right. So I'm going to thread this on to a head pin and then we're going to do a wrapped loop coming in with my chain nose pliers. I'm going to bend the wire over the top of the chain nose pliers, and then I'm going to use my round nose pliers. I love Jasper too, Wanda. It's pretty. We're going up and over. Rotate the pliers and take that wire over to the other side, and then we're going to wire wrap in between the loop we just made and the top of our bead. It looks like I'm going to be able to get about four wraps in here. Okay, and I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and trim off. Okay. So there is our bottom bead. I love Impression Jasper because it looks like the sky. It either looks like the sky or it kind of looks like the earth where the water is like super pale, pale blue. It's just so pretty. It's that sky blue, but it's got that kind of um, creamy color with the reds going through it. Look how pretty. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So I'm going to open up an eye pin and I'm going to thread that onto the loop, that wrapped loop we just made. I'm going to close that back. Okay. I'm going to thread on one of those clear check glass and then three rondelles. These are those smooth rondelles. They're so pretty. I love the smooth rondelles and bracelets, but they look really cool stacked up for earrings too. Okay. And then I'm going to do another wrapped loop and we're going to add the ear wire. Like these are seriously easy, but so beautiful. So bending the wire, coming in. It does look like a little earth. Coming in with my round nose pliers up and over. Rotate, take the wire over to the other side. And then we're going to wire wrap. Okay. Just be careful because you do, your wire does get short here. And then you're going to come in with your cutter tool to trim off. And we're going to open up our ear wire. And those are done. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. <laughs> Wanda says, when I first heard of it, I thought it was called Impressive Jasper, which is a fitting name. I agree. Look how beautiful those are. 
And I kind of, I'm kind of in love with the clear AB mixed with impression, imp impressive, says Wanda. Jasper, I really think that it goes together really well. I don't know what it is. I know that that clear AB finish goes with everything, but for whatever reason, it really just, I don't know, it makes the impression Jasper really stand out. It's so beautiful. I love those. And listen, if those are too, if these are too big for the bottom, you can totally add these to something else. You don't have to make earrings out of these, right? You could make two pairs of earrings out of them if you wanted to. So that's what you get in your kit though. And you can use those beads however you want to. Really beautiful. All right, I'm gonna set these to the side. All right, I've got another, another pair of Jasper earrings for you guys. These require a little bit of wire wrapping, but not a lot. There's not a lot of hardware here, but this is matte. Creek Jasper, and I love these earrings. I think these are so cool. So check them out. We're just going to wire wrap some of these matte Creek Jasper beads to our component here, and then we're going to put them all together. We've got a cute little dangle. Okay, so I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. It's not hard wire wrapping, so don't be intimidated by this one at all. Okay, we're going to take a piece of wire. We are going to anchor it to our component. It's going to lay it across here, and then we're going to wire wrap about three or four times. Okay. Now, we are going to add our beads. Okay, so we're going to start out with one of the small Jasper beads. We're gonna bring it down right next to the component, hold it, whoops, sorry. We're gonna bend that wire to the back and then we're just gonna wire wrap. Just, just like we're wire out a bead, right? You're just wire wrapping that right to the edge of your component. You're gonna wrap around three times. The blue denim necklace is sold out. Wow, that's pretty awesome. It's a beautiful necklace, I don't blame you guys. Okay, now we're going to add one of the larger Jasper beads. Okay, and then bend to the back. Right, okay. just like that. It's sitting on the edge of the component. Bend the wire to the back of it and then wrap three times to lock that bead in place. Okay, we're going to add another. I love Creek Jasper and the matte is so pretty. Matte finish on most beads is really beautiful. But these all have such beautiful color palettes. Like there is like the maroon, green and the blue, and then this dark red with that kind of mustardy yellow and orange in it. Just really, really pretty. And I love that they all go together so well. All right, so wrap three times. Oh, Wanda has been converted. Wanda said she used to uh, think matte beads were pink because they didn't, they didn't have that shine and sparkle, but she said the Red Creek Jasper changed her mind and now she loves matte beads too. I'm telling you, they have their own little personality and it's cool because they, they're they just different. <coughs> they just kind of have a different feeling to them. They really kind of exude that like natural earthy feel, you know? I mean, not that I don't love sparkle because y'all know I do, but I, I do love a matte gemstone. All right, so we added one more. So we're going to add a total of five of the larger Creek Jasper beads. And what you want is you want one of them to fall to the middle, the bottom middle of your oval. Okay. Now we're going to add three more of the, or I'm sorry, two more of the larger. And then we're going to finish it off with one of the smaller ones. And then we're going to make a little dangle to hang in the middle. Okay, so we're going to add one more of the large. <laughs> Call me 
is, is I think it's everyone's internet collectively saying, not today. I think you're probably right about that. <laughs> the internet is like, what are y'all doing? It's cold outside. Can we just like give it a rest? <laughs> Everybody needs to be mentally preparing for holidays. So why are y'all working, right? Working. We're all working. <laughs> all right. We're going to add a small one. We're going to wire wrap that one on. And then we're going to trim off the excess wire. So wrap that around about four times. And listen, your wire wraps don't have to be beautiful, y'all. Don't worry about it. Like, give yourself a break with these for sure. Don't not get these just because you're worried about what your wire wrapping is going to look like. Because these are beautiful. Even if your wire wrapping is a little on the messy side. There's nothing wrong with a messy wire wrap. Okay. So I'm going to call that the front. However, if you turn this over, you use the wire, and that's a kind of cool look too. So you can decide which side you want the front to be and which side you want the back to be. Either one is pretty awesome. Just, just. In. All right. So now we're going to do a little dangle for the center here. I'm going to take a head pin. I'm going to throw one of the larger beads that I have left and then one of the smaller ones. And we're going to do a wrapped loop. The Jasper earrings, the Labradorite bracelet, and the blue denim ne necklace are all sold out. Wow. Thank you guys so much for your purchases today. I appreciate it more than you know. You just have no idea. We're doing a wrapped loop here. Okay, so we're going to wrap between the loop and the top of our bead. And then we're going to come in with our cutter tool and trim off. And then we're just going to attach all of this with some jump rings. Okay. So I'm going to take a six millimeter jump ring here, open it up. I'm going to thread our dangle on. I'm going to attach it to our oval so that that's going to hang right in the center. And then I'm going to thread on a smaller jump ring. I'm going to close that back. Okay, now I'm just going to add my ear wire to that smaller jump ring. And these are done. Hold on. Flip that around. And close that back. And there you go. Beautiful little pair of wire wrapped earrings. If you've got somebody who's got a January birthday coming up, these will make a really good gift. Or just a gift for yourself after Christmas, right? <laughs> I'm all about giving myself something. <laughs> gift yourself these gorgeous little earrings. They're so pretty. They really are. All right, I'm going to sit these to the side. We've got one more pair of earrings left, and then we are done for the day, you guys. And these have one of my favorite gem beads in them that I use nearly enough just because I don't have them a lot. But they are red tiger eye. I love red tiger eye. Who knew? I'm not, I, regular tiger eye is fine. I mean, I don't hate it, but the red just really kind of speaks to me. So look at these you've got that red tiger eye triangle and then two faceted red tiger eye here and then a beautiful check glass faceted rondelle for the mid to kind of bring everything together these are copper we got some little copper drucks to go with them these are so pretty and again it's all about the beads it's not about technique it's not about you know overly done wire work we're just putting together simple designs here for Feel Good Friday that just look good. So we're going to take an eye, or I'm sorry, a head pin. We're going to thread on one of our triangles. And then we're going to thread on a druck. And we're going to do a wrapped loop. So I'm coming in with my chain nose pliers. Grab that wire. Bend it over the top of the pliers. So we've got that room in there for our wire wraps. Coming in with our round nose pliers and take that wire up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side, and then we're going to wire wrap in that space. I think copper was the perfect match for this red tiger eye too. I really think it's pretty. goes together really, really well. Okay, so now we're going to trim. 
Okay. And we're going to open up an eye pin, thread on the bead we just wire wrapped or the beads, close that back. And now we're just going to stack up the rest. So we're going to thread on a druck. We're going to thread on a red tiger eye that's faceted. We're going to thread on a rondel. We're going to thread on another tiger eye. And then a druck. And we're going to do another wrapped loop. And we're going to call it a day. All right. So grabbing with my chain nose pliers, give the wire a bend. Round nose pliers are coming in, up and over. Wanda, you are cracking me up. <laughs> oh my goodness. They are going to wire wrap in that space. Okay. And then we're going to trim off the excess and add our ear wire. And these are done. Just so, so pretty. And just simple, right? But it's about those gorgeous beads. There's nothing else about this. It's just about the beads. And that combination with the copper, I think, just really sets, sets these off. And there you go. And that's it, you guys. You've got another really beautiful gemstone pair of earrings. Just simple, simple. A little bit of sparkle with those facets. Which is really pretty. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys around. We've got a little bit of uh, talking to do, and then I'm gonna let you guys go, and then that'll be the end of our 2022 together, right? All right, let's go back through everything really quickly. All right, so I know the necklace sold out, but I'm still gonna show it on the bus because everybody who got it wants to see what it's gonna look like when they get it all put together, right? So here was our blue denim necklace with those gorgeous ovals. So pretty, love this one. So, so pretty, okay? And then we had two bracelets. We had our one bracelet with that Tierra Cash charm. It's got the beautiful coin pearl, the check glass fire pot and those turbine beads, so pretty. We had our Labradorite and pearls bracelet. Look at the flash on that Labradorite, so pretty. All right, that's a really pretty one. Then we had three pairs of earrings. We had our Impression Jasper, love these. Those are so cool. Impression Jasper is just awesome. <laughs> and then we had our matte creep Jasper. I love these and they go really well with my hair. Just saying. They're so cool. Those colors are fantastic. Right? And then last but not least, we had our red tiger eye bean earrings as well. And these are also really beautiful. These are hard for me to wear because they get they kind of disappear in my hair because they're the same color, but they're so pretty. Really love those. So that's all of our kits. That's it for kits, y'all. That was it for our Feel Good Friday show. That is our last Feel Good Friday show of 2022. I'll be back with you guys in 2023. But before I go, I've got a couple of things I want to say. So first and foremost, our winner, our Maker Mix winner for a combination of October and November, right, is Minky Toms. So congratulations, Minky Toms. I'll be sending you out a bag of goodies coming your way. Probably won't be sent your way until after I come back after next week, but you are definitely going to get a, a, a shipment of fun things from me. Thank you so, so much to everybody who all entered to win. Uh, just because we don't have maker mixes today, though, doesn't mean that the maker mixes are gone. It just means that maker mixes are on sale today through Monday. They are all 30% off. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the maker mixes, uh, they are just small batches of beady goodness that you can get put together a fun piece of jewelry, post it, and you are entered to win a prize pack of things from me right? Um, and that's all you have to do. We don't vote on your jewelry. Just, we just want to be inspired. 
So uh, congratulations, Minky Toms, for that. And I uh, look forward to more Maker Mixes in 2023, you guys. So that's why all of those are 30% off right now. Also, want you guys to know that Hardwired is open for enrollment. Now, I'll be gone all week next week. I will be on vacation, but that does not mean that the work has stopped. Um, so if you are interested in um, gifting yourself or to someone else the gift of uh, being part of the Hardwired group, I definitely recommend it. It is The value is really uncomparable. Um, I, I was talking to Meredith yesterday about the Hardwired group and about how far we've come and the amount of things that we have learned. It's really just kind of incredible, the things that we do. If you're interested in what we do, we do a lot of wire weave and a, wire, a lot of wire working. This was a project we did not too long ago. You can see that beautiful wire weave that we put together for this really cool pendant. Um, if you wanna come and hang out with us, we would love to have you. So please come over to the group and um, put your you have to request to be a part of the group, but then you want to be sure that you answer the question so that we know where to send you your invoice. Billing happens in two different ways. You can be billed monthly or you can be billed quarterly. If you do quarterly, you get a really deep discount on um, your membership fee. It is a wonderful, wonderful little group. It's a small group. We work really hard, but we also have a whole lot of fun and we would love for you to come and be a part of it. So um, I thank you to all of you who are part of the Hardwired group because I won't be seeing them again until next year too. So that being said, we have come to the end of our show and I just want to say this has been an amazing year and I could not do what I do without you guys. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to all of you, whether you are part of just the regular community or if you're part of the hardwired group, all of your purchases, um, all of your, your donations to the tip jar, all of those things. The most important thing to me, though, is the community that we have built together, the friendships that I have made, the friendships that I have seen that you all have made, um, and the inspiration in this group. The amount of talent is just absolutely incredible. So I love you guys from the very, very bottom of my heart, and I'm looking forward to another amazing year with you guys. So I'll be going on vacation next week. You guys all say stay safe, stay warm, um, have an amazing holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, all of those things. I'll be back with you guys in 2023, right? So I'm just taking a week off, but I'll be back and we're going to hit it hard with another wonderful year of fun designs. For those of you who are interested in why we haven't done Bargain Beatbox yet, we just kind of ran out of time for the December Bargain Beatbox. So when we come back that first live on Tuesday at 1 p.m., we're going to do the December Bargain Beatbox bag, okay? So Bargain Beatbox bag. It is in a bag. I mean, so. <laughs> so that's what our first live back will be um, for all of y'all. Um, Rose, no, Hardwire does not meet today. We don't meet again until 2023. So, all right. That's it for me, you guys. I love you all so, so much. Have an amazing Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys again in a week, okay? I love you so, so much. Bye, guys.